Yo, uh, is it safe for me to have a, hey, calm, calm down, calm down, calm down, people, all right, all right, all right, I, I hear the booze, I, I hear you, I hear you, but I got something very important to tell you, man, there's a reason why I haven't uploaded in a while, and that's because I'm going through some life changes, uh, me and, hmm, how can I say this? Well, I already said it on Twitter, so I guess you can read it. Uh, like, you know what I'm saying? Ah, you see what's going on there? Again, I just want to reiterate that I'm not sad. I'm not feeling sad. I'm actually feeling pretty okay about it. You know what I'm saying? But it seems like everybody's feeling sad for me, sending me prayers. And I really do appreciate it. Don't get me wrong. I appreciate it. But I'm okay. All right? You know what I'm saying? Is I'm not upset. Uh, I probably will never ever talk about the situation, what happened and everything, but I'm good. Trust me. We good. We Gucci. We here. So can I get some cheers? That's tough. Anyway, uh, today we're going to be playing some NBA 2K16. Hold up. You thought I forgot? Hey, yo. What's good, Montana fam? It's your boy. Thanks, Montana, man. Back out here on this NBA 2K16. Yo, why did they, yo, Amari in the Mavs jersey is crazy, but why they got so many mid players on this screen right here? The Boogie, yo, Boogie Cousins with the Kings and stuff. Anyway, we on this NBA 2K16, a month simpler time before. Anyway, uh, let me go ahead and hop into this. What I wanted to do was revisit the my career story of NBA 2K16. Everybody say it, it's the greatest to ever exist. So let's go ahead and dive back into it because you know how some things be. You don't fully appreciate things until they are no longer here. So let's go ahead and uh, dive back into the story. I got to start a new save. By the way, this game is offline. My, pl my player will probably never be upgraded throughout this whole... I'm gonna be playing with a 40 o Let's just get into it, bro. Here we go. Um, Throughout this thing, I'm gonna be uh, applying, supplying my commentary. And CC on B. So Number I'm gonna have, day, a, and we have a big all of that down there at the bottom so you can still see what's going on. Early. By the way, so we can get a few shout out to the homie the right there. You know what I'm saying? Hey, he followed me on Twitter. Homework. Ever since this, nah, nah, yo, bro, I, I think, think I dropped the video. Do I'm just already oh, talking over this joint. I dropped a video uh, uh, on Twitter about me and the real guy from Insecure. Yo, I know celebs, boy. Know like uh, from Insecure, he followed me on Twitter. Dude, and ever since then, we always I talking know. trash. He an Eagles fan. I'm a Giants fan. So football season is super tense between me and my guy right here. Yeah, feel me, but anyway. Oh, I remember this classic, classic My career story. My dog Spike Lee, one of the greatest Knicks fans ever. I'm number one, Spike number two. This year, yeah, feel me. 2K16. Them glasses might put him at number three. I ain't gonna lie, them glasses and then the size that put you at four. Spike is getting crazy for you out here. There's a lot more of being a great baller than what you see. Slide that over, like my OCD is not allowing me to rock with that. agent. Why they just all in the back? Look at old. Developing a personal brand. Post it up, why? The pressure started very real for you and everyone around you but the rewards can be equally as powerful that's a fact if you're willing to put in the work so let me tell you the story. I got the one here oh step in my world it scared me a little bit I ain't gonna lie can be the story I ain't Seems gonna lie, like that scared me a little bit. Hey, hey, hey. As much as I rock with you my guy we gotta change that face up AKA make a look well he don't look like this me but is me back then the though dream. maybe me back then less beard more less hair less hair all around anyway 40 acres in the mule film works. Like I said, uh, as I listen to the music and as I experience this story, it feels more like a Spike Lee type of story. Like, you know what I'm saying? It feels, Josh Kozlov, y'all remember my, my black Russian, my player. Anyway, this, <laughs> it feels like a my like a Spike Lee movie. I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, let's go ahead and dive in. Yes, wow, sir. To wake up the whole project. Oh, man, whatever. Is this, this where the brown shirt What's all up, started? How you feeling? Oh, this I'm jumper was dream. money. Slap it. Sis, I'm living the dream. I made an inside about. point guard, by the way. Jumper. Slap it. I will like never shoot like that. 32 years and they both still at the post office. <laughs> mom selling stamps, pops delivering the mail. Yo. I ain't never missed a day. Yeah, well, moms did. I always thought it was super funny. But for anybody that made a white my player, or like right. any other my player that wasn't black, 
Because it just look crazy. You know <laughs> it just look crazy. Like, the do. family don't change. When I make it to the league, it's we'll have enough same money family, bro. It's, it's kind of it's kind of funny. Make it. Sit back, chill, the rest of the natural born lives. If we can move Number, out of here, yeah, I'm already going to be kicking and screaming. Right. <laughs> Boom. And That's here go. Insane. The star <laughs> of the I show. I got the skills, though. Too bad you got kicked off the squad. Oh, that's because Coach is a hater. You only wanted one player to shine, but it's all good, though. My man Freak is extra nice with it. We both yes, going sir. Oh, oh, you heard me, little sis. Boy, Ugh. breath smelling it's like warm booty. Nah, see, that's my new mouthwash. Hmm, distilled. Oh, you got <laughs> Bro, bro, you guy. Wow. Booty wow. flavored mouthwash, yeah. boy. No good on the curb bum. Let's just keep it 100. Two uh, times fit. Wow. Yes, sir. Is she doing mathematics on me, though? This is a tax on my character. My boy, As big hairline. Know, crazy I'm boy. Got the wild citizen. Eddie right there. Yeah. And values. Let's get the barber cut that straight across, gang. It's time for us to get to school. We can't be late. Vic, you joining us? Nah, I'm going to catch you. You see my lineup, bro? Lunch. Get your Son, that's at 12 noon. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. I'm going to take a little nap, you know, so I'm well rested oh, for the oh, afternoon class. Big, Yo, big, if you pay attention, Vic was destined to. Or you want me bright eyed, bushy tailed, raising my hand and answering mad questions in class? Why didn't you just go to bed? Uh, because right. I can't sleep at night. He was destined <laughs> to fail, is. bro. Like, yo, it's the truth. I sleep better in the daytime. My doctor said that my biological clock is all turned around. <laughs> you know, like, up is down, down is up, left is right, right is left. Wait, how to? I... Yeah, bro. <laughs> you know what? It's all good in the hood. You two know I'm dyslexic. It's dyslexic. Yo, you bro, twisted for show. Bro, was this destined, bro? Ah, Monday's mystery me. Hey, Hate it. You know what? If you use your imagination, it tastes just like your mom's prime rib. Tasty. Tasty. I'm saying, though. <laughs> All right, y'all. I bid you adieu. Yes, sir. I do. Bro, you need to get to class, <laughs> boy. <laughs> Give me some. If y'all know about uh, Do the Right Thing, Spike Lee. You know what I'm saying? Mookie! See, see, you ain't right. That's the, you know what I'm saying? But that's all right. And why is that? Because you keep forgetting. I'm an F-O-F. -O -F. And do tell, Ooh, what is an F-O-F? Hey. You didn't tell her? Yo, my dearest dear. A friend, a freak. That is crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's hot, right? Nah, that's corny. That boy a freak. Come up with it. Let me oh, go get the bag. Please. All right, hurry up. <laughs> hey, yo, freak, I'm going to see you later, man. Yeah, hey, Vic. Uh, what, what? Get to school, man. No more missed days. You know me. I'm gonna be Yo, there. everybody had that one homie. Get to school, man. That just Whatever. he just couldn't get right, bro. Vic Flip is that it. homie. All right, sis, hold up. Man, yeah, the story to this game was crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I really enjoyed it. This it was nuts too, bro. You get to play in high school. I think this is the first and only time 2K did that. Will you start from high school? Me personally, as a person that love my career mode. I absolutely enjoyed this. You know what I'm saying? I loved being able to, uh, you know, say start a high school. But I know a lot of people that make a lot of bills did not like that, bro. So look at your boy. Hey, let's go, freak. Let's get this Look at your boy. Hey, freaking the vibe. Y'all remember that dance? Freaking the vibe and dance, bro. Call me. Vic, call me. Bro, any girl messing with Vic? Down bad, bro. I'm letting you know right now, bro. Anyway, um, we're not gonna be playing too much of the uh, too much of the story because I feel like at this point it's not really necessary, right? We just we just we just here to really just see the story. We're not really trying to play in these games. Look at this. I'm out here locking up. Wait, they're called to follow me. Like I told y'all though, my dude is a 60 overall, no badges, no attribute upgrades, um, no nothing. You feel me? Oh, but I still got that burner. I still got that burner though. I'm gonna just be following out of games because Alonzo Morning and the Um I don't think Alan me Iverson. playing in the One games well has any it. effect on the George story. Kent. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna just follow out all of the games. Don't worry, we ain't gonna see no game. Attitude that comes with wearing a Georgetown jersey. Boy, yeah, hey, bro, he been the agent, the GM, a coach. He done been everything in 2K, bro. The most versatile character. My man is a Georgetown recruiter right now. You get the Georgetown, he be the coach, he be the dude mopping up, he be security, he be a teammate. Yo, this dude, you done seen this dude face all over 2K before, bro. And that path goes through Georgetown. 
All right, Everyone appreciate knows it. the respect that Villanova has. And this the ain't this uh, in our NBA what's that roster, Frenchman named Rudy Gobert? Ain't this Rudy Gobert? In the NBA. Then you shut this down the whole NBA. Wildcat Kyle Lowry. Do we got to I don't think we got to watch the no, recruiting. This, this really crazy. ain't part of the story. Here and look at even. this no I'll lip, bro. Where your lips? Boy, where your lips at, boy? We, we skipping him too, bro. We not we not going to none of these schools. I, don't think. I skipped the rest of high school because it was just like the college interviews, and I just found out all of the games because I don't think my performance in any of these games has any impact on the story whatsoever. So that is great. I'm following out everything. My boy Vic looking mad confused trying to work that camera. Bro is six three and can't walk through the door, bro. Six three. I mean it's tall, but it ain't like freakishly tall, bro. Oh, don't worry about. That Got the whole feeling. This is what I'm talking about. If you made your mom player anything other than black, this scene is crazy. Like, were you adopted? That's right. Like, had to be. I don't know. It's nuts, bro. Take care of the young ladies. Vic, go home. Why are you even here? Yo, because I'm the cameraman. You know what? Speaking of my boy Vic, man. You ready? Hey, these young college hotties are already hitting me up, man. They not here. Why they hitting you up, bro? Time. Relax, brother. Yeah, Vic, shut up. Vic was born ready. I make sure you don't cut off my head because I got to look for that. <laughs> Bro, we got the right, same cut, bro. Relax, bro. Vic, you rolling? Rolling. Uh, hi, everyone. I'd like to thank everyone from my coaches to my teammates. You guys taught me the importance of teamwork and working well, together. I remember seeing this in the trailer, bro. I was so hyped up, bro. Shout out to my main man, Vic, holding the camera down. I ain't going to ask where you got the camera. But thanks. Yo, one thing about oh, my dog, Vic, bro, he definitely held it down for Freak, bro. And Freak the same so way, bro. They vice versa. They was really boys, bro. And I'd like to thank my twin, Cece, for being a great role model in my life. Ah, this has been an extremely tough decision. Each school was carefully considered, but I have finally decided to choose. And this is where I get the pick. Like I said, bro, I still got... An uh, invite. I think it was another school. Like, if you play really good, I think a fourth, I mean, a, four, a fifth school popped up right there. But I really don't remember. And just for the heck of it, I'm going to go to a team that I never went to before. Let's go. Let's go Michigan. Yep, we're going to go to Michigan. I've decided to go to the great University of Michigan. <laughs> yeah, there. Oh good choice, sir. Yeah, there. Everybody's so excited for your boy. The hat match a mama really fit. Appeals to me. And I look forward to developing into a great player under. I did that by mistake. I did it by mistake, bro. Relax, bro. The great tutelage of the amazing coaching staff working there. <laughs> I want to thank everyone. Y'all, yo, y'all yo, yo, crazy, bro. Hey, yo, freak, freak, freak. Just like we practiced today, all right? I definitely never saw this because I never chose Michigan. Look at mama hitting them high notes. Mama. Go back to go back oh, behind look. the camera. Go back behind the camera. Go blue. Go blue. I never saw this. This is all new to me. Dad knows something about them high notes. You see how he looking like? Know something about that. You know, that, hey, Pops know what's going on. Here we go. I simulated all of the college games because, again, there was no real story. Well, really, no cussings at all in between games. So I went right past oh, Big Chin. Natalie Nunn Chin. She's back. But I'm probably in the way, but all you can probably see is the chin sticking out the bottom. I'm good. And my dog, Dom Pagnotti. Queen mother, this young your original the goat agent. agent. That's sweet. Hang on, frequency. Here comes your father. All right. Look at Very that shirt nice. all tucked Hope in, shiny well. pants, yeah. shiny, yeah. shiny yeah. shirt. I'm doing good. So let's get to it. You guys finished doing this. that. We all know why we're here. This meeting is strictly confidential, 100% off the record. Didn't happen. We weren't even here. Capiche? Capiche means understand in Italian. Capiche? Yeah, yeah. Capiche, Capiche, bro. Yeah. Freaking Come on. insisted that I have his entire family here. And I think it's great that he has a good support system around him. I've been doing this a very long time. But that nasty with drip. Nobody support in my pockets. The best. Give and me the some best BC to get some better clothes. Great support system around him. A family, if you will. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So let's cut to the chase. Leaving college early now and entering this year's NBA draft is the right move Ooh. right now. Even though I fought out of every game, Dom Pagnotti as and my draft agent, stock went in the toilet. Even well though, taken care of. Hey, you gotta watch them, bro. They're not all for you, bro. Freaking and vibing, yeah. I love it. Freaking and vibing. This freaking and vibing thing you do when you get hot freak, we're gonna make you more money off the court than you will on. We Woo. already have endorsements and things like that in mind, so. Cece, 
I said we because we're going to do this together. We're you said, yo, we're relax, team. bro. Calm down, bro. We got yeah. this, bro. Relax. Yeah. Chill out. That's why I'm here. Oh, yeah, I hear you, Mr. Pagnotti, but like I told you before, I already promised my parents four years of college. That's a plan, man. Oh, nah, that's, that's a right. sick plan, plan bro. Free. That's a nasty Listen, plan. In life and in basketball, you need to adapt and change to the situation at hand. Now, even if you have the greatest coach and they draw up the greatest play and all the X's and O's make perfect sense on paper, you still need to react to what the defense shows you and then make your move. This is the right move. This is the right move now. And four years Ooh. of college is a great plan for basically anybody. But you're not just anybody. You are the greatest collegiate talent I have ever seen. Shoot, dribble, pass, and defend a basketball my entire time on this great planet Earth. Now, Miss Mark and Mr. Pete, I have seen bro, so many spin. of the guys jump right from hey, I told you, Pac-90 to free. go agent, bro. You've at least experienced college. You know what that is. You've been there. You've done that. I am offering you now a chance at the experience of a lifetime. Do you know how many people would love to be in those Jordans right now? Ooh, how many? I mean, what if you get hurt? Bro, well, first of all, I got on 2K generics, bro. Come on, like, oh, don't, yeah, bro, don't bro, bro. gas right, me. Now, now you're just lying. Next time it could be something. I saw that. Good game, but bam! Just like that, and you could be flipping burgers. He scared Maybe the whole family, bro. They are all the way in New York. Assistant manager at some burger joint. Maybe I do a favor and make a call, and your delivery boy at Sal's Famous Pizzeria. But the bottom hey, line is, you will be a long, the right long, thing. long ways away from signing multi-million dollar contracts with me, mm. Don Pagnotti, as your agent. So it's all about the money, right? When was it not all about the money? Money isn't everything. Yes, no it is. Are, no disrespect was meant, but freak. Money well, is not freedom. really, but freedom of y'all know what I mean. The freedom to live. Money is the difference between renting and owning. Oof. Between being the waiter and being waited on. Oof. It's the difference between being Yo. the chauffeur or being chauffeured. Can we talk about Don Pagnotti, bro? This here is a contract. This makes me your agent. Bro, spin. Sign on the dotted line, and I will take you and your family to the promised land. Like I said, Mr. Pagnotti, the paper is it's not blank, all though. about the money. Pete, let the man finish. Yeah, he Pete, made his point. Uh, He's finished. Slap your Aren't Pete, you finished? Pete, Pete, I don't kind of like, piece, kinda like that, though. Right. You guys should talk. Pete, what if Frequency does get hurt? Shouldn't he take this opportunity? Usually it's the mo like Usually the roles are reversed. And then doesn't have a college degree. It's the so moms that that's kind of like... But college isn't for everybody. Pete, you didn't go. That's Ooh. why we worked so hard for him. I'm just saying. I mean, if he's ready to do this now as opposed to later, Pete, anything can happen. You're right. Anything could happen. This is his future. This You're is his not life. Listening to me, Pete. not just a game. Nah, dad, right, Loki, right, know what he's doing? Cause I fought out of every game, so he's like, yo, he not that nice. Look, truth be told, I don't even know what I want to do right now. I understand that. Yeah, but I was talking to my boy Vic the other day. Why? Oh my and he God, he was making a lot of sense. He thinks I should leave early too. You know what? I've I, no, no. I've kept quiet this whole time, and I also think that Freak should join the league. I think it's a great business decision. Natalie Nunn. Pagnotti is absolutely right. Chin. Thank you, Yvette. Yo, she sneezed. That's why I had a hole got on her shirt. Sure. Cut a hole. You, know, you need to be careful. It could compromise what we're trying to do here. <laughs> what, what are you trying to say? You know, your association your with the whole... guy Victor off the court. It could compromise your selection in a draft. Ooh. As a matter of fact. I know it. This is what Vic first became a problem. Between being drafted first overall and 21st, you're talking tens of millions of dollars. You don't get it, do you? Cece, our first Why is bro, alone, you can make your point without a screaming. $1,500 million dollar difference just by that. Number one, that's what we need. If I were not 1,000% convinced in my mind and in my heart that we could get you drafted first overall, I wouldn't be like this. This is the play. This is the move, freak. You've got to listen and to I, me. I, 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 oh, my bro is, is passionate. I can't hang with my brother. No, freak, you need to listen to him. I've been telling you the same exact thing. Mr. Dom, Frequency and Victor grew up together. They're best friends. We took the boy in and practically adopted him. Martha, I told you that boy ain't nothing but trouble. He's Yo, they only. cooking my, my boy Vic right, right now, now bro. I'm agreeing with Vic. We're trying to prepare you for your future. You know, but it is his future. So this is none of your business. You still you excuse me? Yeah. You still have a decision to make. Yo, tell y'all, bro. You ain't part of a black family. You don't know what's going on right now. I'm going to be can honest with you. Can I just interrupt your tone. for one sec? Everybody they get off down, topic please. like crazy. Y'all talking about who doing the dishes? Next thing you talking about a barbecue. Discussion, but the truth Lil Ray Ray later. birthday. There's only one person in the room that can make this decision. That's a fact. My son, you know how I feel. Right. Education is the most important thing in life. But this is your choice. Not really. It's not your mother. Like people are out here making millions mine. without college, bro. It's not bro. your girlfriend. College not always it's not the way Mr. to go. Pagnotti's. And it definitely ain't Victor's. This is your decision, son. 
So I you tell us what bit. you want to do. I need 30 seconds, Freak. Okay. I have four beautiful children, and I want each of them to go to college and graduate. But if you walked up to any one of those four children right now and said, I will give you a contract that's worth 100, 200, 300 million dollars, I would say, bypass college. You can always go back. I want you to graduate. I want you to get your doctorate. I want to call you Dr. Freak. But you need to understand this. Now, you can go all over this beautiful country that we live in and go into any of the major universities. You will find people that are 30, 40, 50, 60, 80 years old, and you will find them graduating. But if you live to be 500 years old, you will never see ever, ever somebody 40, 50, 60 years old being drafted from college into the NBA. We need to strike while the iron is hot. This is your life. We will get you drafted first overall. You will be up there with all the big names. I'm not talking first rounder. I'm talking first overall. Listen to me. This is Mr. what Pat I do. Nani, I am the best at what I you do. Have had Nobody your 30 is better. Seconds plus. Miss Martha, I am bro, so Bro, cook your Pag Naughty cook, bro. I want wife. him to speak for I me. I apologize. At all. <laughs> Baby, what do you want? Boy, to lucky do? I had an event chin. Um, what we about to do, freak? What we about to do? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna have Cece go through this contract, front to back. I'm gonna think about it, sleep on it, pray on it, and I will call you in the morning. Great right. answer. Great answer. Listen, Mr. Pete, Miss Martha, it was a pleasure meeting the two of you over telephone, and I look forward to meeting you both in person. Remember, everybody. This meeting never took place. We weren't even here. Capish? Capish. Capish, baby. Right, Mom, pops. I'm gonna call you guys later. I ain't gonna lie, that was kind of fire, bro. This is what Spike Lee can do, bro. He kind of draw you in. And then the draft just started. Pagnati told me I was going number one overall. Remember, we just had that conversation. Let's see what's popping off. The Timberwolves select. I think I think the highest I ever see somebody go in this game was number two to the Lakers. Carl Anthony Town. That's not uh, Josh Kozlov. That's not Josh Kozlov. Why am I not number one, bro? Can we speed this up? Can we speed it up? Can we speed it up? We see Carl Anthony. Dang, Carl Anthony Town only averaged ten and seven in college and went number one. I mean, it was the right choice, but. I thought he did a lot better than that. D'Angelo Russell. Before the test. Before he snitched on Nick Young. Before he went back to the Lakers and was trash. D'Angelo Russell. I'm, yo, he might be a higher overall now. Right, like right there than he is like currently. And bro was cooking at Ohio State. You see them numbers, bro. D'Angelo Russell was that boy. I think this is Joel Embiid. Oh, Jaleel Okafor. Okafor. Joel Embiid, I think I drafted next year. This is the year Duke won a national championship, by the way. And you see Jaleel Okafor's number. Number 17 and 9 almost. And then I think they beat Kentucky, in the, in the, not in the national championship, but in the NCAA tournament. They beat Kentucky. And that Kentucky team, y'all know, had Devin Booker on it, Carly D. Towns. Chris Stapps, Porzing blood. Porzingis. Man, I ain't gonna lie. This, bro, where am I at, Don Pagnotti? You told me I was going number. Can I simulate in this draft? I can't simulate. I gotta watch this whole draft. Oh, I could just. I guess they're gonna stop doing all that extra stuff. I still ain't get picked yet, gang. From Dubrovnik, Croatia. They got somebody from Dubrovnik before me. Oh, heck no. Where am I getting drafted? This gotta be me right here. In the NBA draft. Miles the Turner, NBA that cut select. reminds Miles me of SpongeBob's Turner house. Boy, your head looking crazy, boy. When am I getting picked, bro? Pick. We already at pick 20. When am I getting selected? Delon Wright. Bro, the music the stopped. Of Utah. The music stopped, bro. They this was never intended With to go the this way. They had to start the, the music draft. over, bro. The they, Dallas Mavericks select. Don Peck Nani, you told me I was going number one. Bro, who is this? Who is John Brown? Number not, bro. I don't remember him, bro. No, 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 bro. I'm getting picked after fictional. Bro, Dom, you took And the music stopped again, bro. Dom, why did you lie to me, bro? 
With the 28th pick in the NBA They draft, changed the, the music. I ain't select. never hear this draft music, bro. With the 29th this, pick. This low key hit. Oh, draft, it's me. The Brooklyn Nets select hey, the 19-year-old hey, point guard hey. from the University of Michigan. Mr. Kozlov, hey, pull up my stats. Pull up my stats. Zeros. Yo, I know y'all see the zero, but they switched the music up. 55 overall with no badges. That's tough. Look at them stats. Yo, I, yo, I just got, <laughs> I got drafted by the Nets, bro. My least favorite team ever. Finally, bro. He told me number one. I went number 29. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome. This kind of fire, though. I ain't gonna lie. Yes, sir. Why is my sister up there? I never understood why she was wow. up there. Wow. <sighs> this is bananas. Take your time, baby. Thanks, Ma. Okay, so I first want to thank everyone. Well, almost went class. second round, bro. Mom, Dad. That I draft was couldn't crazy. Have without you. <laughs> I like to thank my lady Yvette. Yes, sir. Natalie Nunn. Ching ching. My dude Vic. Hey. But you know how when people do this, she be like, I'm in the building all day. But sit down, yeah, bro. Why you got an like all black brother. suit? He low key foreshadowing oh, his man. own funeral also, wearing the all black like my that. My sister, Cece, who was also my manager. <laughs> Swish. Yes, sir. I love you, Same man. haircut. Yeah, my agent, Mr. We really Don was Pat twins. Himself. You're the man, baby. <laughs> I guess I will take some questions now. Yes, ma'am. How did you get the nickname Freak? A lot of hey, people don't know. You didn't see me in that bedroom, baby? For my very first nickname, Frequency Vibration. <laughs> yeah, chill, let me chill, bro. <laughs> yeah, true story. Let me chill. I'll introduce our mother so she could tell it. Go ahead, you know, mama. Tell her, mama. Come on, mama. Come on, Mama. Get your ass. Hey. Okay, no, mama. mama, get up. Thank you, everyone. I know uh, I cursed. Shut up. And Cece are fraternal twins. <laughs> and so when I was pregnant, one of them kept kicking me. Nah, this is kind of crazy because time. you made that. My husband like a, put I told you, make a white mom player fraternal. Yo, what, yo what's, what's going on? Frequency vibrations. <laughs> we shortened it to freak. How did you know who was kicking? A mother knows. A mother always knows. Hey, hey talk about it. Yes. So they really got me Ladies up here with a Brooklyn Nets jersey, bro. This is NBA nasty. NBA superstar, Frequency Vibrations. Yes! Hey, at least I'm still in New York, though. That's kind of fire. Thank you all you for feel coming. Me? Like, we will be in New York, still in New York. In the back. Just Good Brooklyn, job. not, not well the Knicks, but it is what it is. We'll, we'll, we'll take that. Big Chin, look at Big Chin. Yo, Natalie Chin, crazy. Two games in two hour season. Fouled out of both of those games. You already know what type of time. Now, look at the ball spot on top of bro head. By the way, he about to go in on me. He has every right. Well, I've been trashed. Freak. One minute you're playing 21 and horse on the courts in Harlem, and the next moment you're in the showroom. Bro, Figuring what your lips, boy? Gun metal and graphite extruder. What your whole joint you like you could swallow your face, the way your mouth. Anyway. Oh, I bet you get a crazy crowd when you drive that car around the block in the old neighborhood, huh? Yeah. Living the dream. Are we getting those vibes Bad right now? Am I but tripping? Folks from back around the like, way I'm sure that's what it was meant to be, yeah, but. I hear you. Local kid makes good. You know, it kind of reminds but me we, of when we I them vibes. the stock public and I rang the New York Stock Exchange bell and my mom's friends called her up and said, Maggie, is that your son on Bloomberg News this morning ringing the bell? And my mom says, yes, sir, Bob, it was him. That was a great moment, Freak. And you know, our lives are like a pearl necklace of great moments. All yes, sir. strung together with the finest. Don't say pearl necklace, though. Moments. I don't, you know. No, then. We have to be very careful how we cultivate those pearls and we thread that necklace. Does this meeting by any chance have to do with Vic Van Leer? I grew up in the burbs, freak. I wasn't poor, upper middle class, comfortable. My daddy worked as an accountant for one of the largest insurance firms in the country. Smart with his money. Get Mom to the to point. Work. I went to boarding school. And my dad died of a heart attack when I was a freshman at MIT. Jesus. I was a movie geek, wanted to be a civil engineer, but I made my fortune by becoming a hybrid of both those interests. My dad didn't want me to be an accountant. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, listen to this. As a parent, you always supposed to want your kids to be better. Was a guy named Isidore. Isidore. <laughs> yeah, we called him Izzy. He was one of the smartest human beings I have ever met in my life. I mean, Izzy was taking second year college calculus courses as a high school sophomore, Woo. right? Straight-A student, full ride to MIT. Izzy had the world at his fingertips. But he was always looking for trouble, and trouble found him. He ran with the wrong crowd. And when we got to MIT, 
He got this great job working for a financial consulting. Bro, I know I'm supposed to give a commentary over this, weekend, but sometimes it'd be too fired or like you gotta let him cook. You see, Izzy had a system for counting cards in Vegas that had the big casinos on the strip. Oh my god. Oh, Stymied. He would come back to MIT with suitcases filled with two hundred thousand dollars in cold cash. What? Yeah. So your man Izzy was getting hit off like that. Like a fat rat in a cheddar cheese factory, freak. Still not getting to the point. Okay, he's so setting them up. This dude Izzy, cause he's dope. <laughs> no, not dope. Dead. Oh my. Oh. After he'd been missing for three weeks. The Nevada Missing State Police never weeks. found hide nor hair of Isidore. Oof. And our friendship took a hit when he asked me to hang out with him in Vegas. And I said I wouldn't do it. Because I knew he was on a dark and twisted path in his life. And yes, yes, he you was supposed to pull dude, your dude out the trenches, but, no but sometimes they don't want to get pulled out. That's, that's, trying that's, to that's... show my loyalty to a guy who really and truly didn't understand what loyalty Woo. was all about. Yo, so everybody preaching. about Vic. Correctamente. Okay, well, sir, Vic isn't Izzy. He will be. If you play this game before, spoiler alert, freak? he will be. Well, for one thing, you and your dead friend Izzy didn't grow up poor. Me and Vic grew up in you the neighborhood where we had to look friend. over our every two seconds to make sure nobody was going to walk up on us and rob us. True. Izzy and I did not grow up in the hood. And but we, hood. like you, thankfully Lives. grew up in a two-parent household. But even that wasn't enough for Izzy. He wasn't satisfied. He was always looking for a five-alarm fire when he already had the warmth and comfort of a loving family. This is not about class warfare, freak. This is about the consequences of making bad choices and risking it all when you feel like you have nothing to lose. Woo. Vic is like a brother to me, sir. But you shouldn't be Brother Vic's keeper, freak. Would a brother go looking for trouble and put your career and your livelihood at risk by getting into fights at nightclubs and seedy after-hour joints and then scream to the media, yeah, it's all good, I'm an F.O.F., friend of freak. It's all misunderstanding. Y'all be haters, don't hate my game. Vibes. I don't think Vibes, why would he do that? I know what he, he about, but he's guy, mocking him, but Vibes. You, like a meal ticket would. No. So you don't understand Vic. Really? Talk to him. Talk to him, bit up. No. It's like a movie for real. That's how I feel. Oh, no. Nah. Don't play this. Look, man. It was a misunderstanding with the guy in the next VIP people. His honey started flirting with me. Naturally, I started flirting back. They say, I know. Captain Cornball's off my grill piece. Beefing next to he know. He got a two piece and a biscuit on his left eye. Hey, <laughs> nah, nah, I don't know who hit him. And he damn sure wasn't me. Hey, <laughs> Captain Cornball's mad because I'm an F O F, friend of freak. Hey, <laughs> but well, check this out though. He needs to train that hottie before he leave the house though. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> he's. He's hot as ain't loyal, man. <laughs> Bro. What's there to understand? This Are is the craziest and greatest my career story no, ever, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Lawyers to make all this go away. Almost 100,000. Excuse me, son. I'm sorry. I couldn't hear you. I said I paid almost $100,000. Exactly. And if you keep riding shotgun with Vic, you're gonna go broke. Quick, fast and in a hurry. Yo, this is Vic is my friend crazy. and I grew up with him. How many times I gotta tell you, sir? Freak, this is not a request. I am not asking you to do this. I am telling you to do this. And the first order of business is that Mr. Vic Van Leer is banned from traveling with you on the road. Woo, Vic is that's banned tough. from the locker room. That's tough. And Vic is banned from this arena. That's and tough. if I catch this guy, Vic, in or anywhere near the facilities, Mr. Vic Van Leer will be arrested for trespassing. Are you serious, sir? Brother, I'm as serious as cancer. We all know that can be deadly. No. Oh my God, bro. This is a dark, Me dark story. It, it only get darker from here, bro. Every time I miss at the dome, we always imagine making it to the pros. And after the crowds left, just a street light was on the court, like 11.30, 12 midnight, even one in the morning sometimes. <laughs> we used to, Practice player introductions, running on the court, 
giving dab high five and the teammates. Vic, he would act as an announcer. You know, he would introduce me, announce my name on the loudspeaker and the jumbotron would uh, flash my image like a little guy dressed in long shorts and a jersey. And now, fresh off his three game, 62 point scoring streak, the youngest player to ever do so in NBA history, frequency vibrations. <sighs> That is fire. Me, that was, I don't know why that was fire, bro. It kind of gave me chills a little bit, bro. And now, and now I'm living the dream. Living the dream. For real. And in so many ways, Vic was part of that. Please, listen to me. I mean, I know this guy's your dude from way back. No. Me and Vic go way back like the front seats of a 67 Cadillac. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's we go way back. Did you say, did you say front seats? Fr like, front seats of a 67 Cadillac. We go way back like the front seats. Bro, it was not that funny, bro. Cadillac. Vibes, bro. <laughs> Jiminy Crickets. <laughs> I'm gonna be the hit once again at Herbie Allen's Sun Valley Shindig because my fellow billionaires love it when I walk and talk that talk. So that <laughs> almost sounds. No, let me tell you. Exactly yeah. What it Freak sounds on the like. same wave I'm on, bro. What you? What you mean? I respect. I gotta get out of Brooklyn, admire. bro. Admire. The team owner of Brooklyn. Yeah. I ain't rocking with human it. Human being and a role model. But I pay you a lot. And I mean, I pay you a lot of money to play for my team. And I am in this game to win it. And you can't win it with an albatross around your neck like Vic. So Vic is done. History. And here's some more lingo that I picked up from a former megastar who used to play for me several seasons ago. I thought be? I would never release him until I did. And now he's the sixth man on a struggling team in Venice. And yeah, I'm talking Venice with the canals and the gondolas and Harry's Bar. Who not could the it be? Street Darryl Williams? Next to the fortune tellers on the Playing beach the Nets, maybe. This guy used to tell me when he thought there was a player destroying our team. Don't be a hero. Cut, Cut that, that zero. zero. That is what I am telling you about. Boy, there. back up. Why are you, you on my lap? Don't be a hero. Cut that zero. The only thing Vic brings into your life is headache and unwanted and unnecessary negative attention. And it will begin to affect your mindset. And when it affects your mindset, it's gonna affect your play. And when it affects your play, it's gonna affect my team. And when it affects my team, it's gonna affect my money. And if it affects my money, Google Translate will become your new freaking friend. I want a championship ring, freak, and I want you to help me get that ring. And banners after banners hanging from the Raptors in this arena. So, freak. Yo, Vic pick in the back. Clearly, <laughs> and here he the freak. Good. V. G. G. Vic. Gotta. Go. Yo, he just cooked, bro. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. He just cooked. We got to give bro a round of applause, bro. We got to. Bro just, bro just went in, bro. He just started cooking. That revolves around your conduct on and off the court and how it can negatively impact my team. Now, I don't want you to have to learn Italian or Croatian as a second well, language. I'm falling out of every game. I might overseas. have to anyway. There's nothing wrong with that. But the arenas are nothing like this, nor will the money be the same. And on top of all of that, this is the U.S. of A, the greatest freaking country in the world. Bro. Ask yourself. Look at a boy looking at him. Is Vic worth all that? Why, like, what would you do if you had a homeboy think like Vic wrong. and the NBA think wrong. and the team owner came to you talking just like this, bro? What would you do? This is tough. Oh, my 
God. Now we're talking about chicken. I simulated another game or fought out of another game. Movies, TV. Yo, yo, I still got on the same fit from high school when I was shooting the jumpers top of the key. That sounds great, but don't you think it's a little too early to be talking about all that? Too early. LeBron was 12 years old in sixth grade when he was thinking Space Jam. Woo! It's never too early and to that movie just loops. got made, yes. bro. You guess. This isn't high school. This isn't college. This is the real world. And the real world is fueled by one thing. Oh, that money. chicken. That's right. That money. chicken. you bills, y'all. Why do you think bills, they put yo. presidents on them? Because that's what presides over us. I ever tell you guys about the first dollar I ever made? No, Dom, but you're about to. Yo, check this out. CC, this is a great story, right? So I'm seven years old, Queens, New York, 19. Everybody from New York, I and guess, huh? Lonzo, he's got a lemonade stand. So that summer, I'm like, Lonzo, you know, let me help out. Let me make a couple of bucks with you. He's like, all right, Dom, come on. I'll teach you the business. So I'm pouring tons of sugar. I'm squeezing the lemons. I got the lemonade stand all set up. I'm like, yo, I got this, right? So I'm watching during the course of the day. I'm noticing something Lonzo's doing. <laughs> He's not charging for refills. Ooh, that summer, I convinced Lonzo no more free refills, and we make two thousand dollars plus tips Ooh. today. Lonzo's lemonade is a national brand and publicly traded. Oh, wow, that's dope. I'm not here to impress. I'm here to improve and to assist. Bro been like selling Kyle lemonade since Johnson he was a baby. For Team Freak. Block no, that. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, the only person running point around here will be me. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm literally mind, running point. Even though I'm Not following every game, game I, I made a point guard. This is diamonds and platinum. Gold, forget Look about it. Look at Natalie Silver, over there. Forget over about it. This is diamonds and platinum. It's power and speed. Freak, this is what you have. You are on your way to being the biggest thing in the NBA. Bro, no, I am not, bro. now that we dominate off the court as well as on. I can't believe I'm saying this, Freak, but Dom has a point. You've been establishing yourself on the court, and now it's time to I have not. I haven't been doing that. The possibilities are endless. Listen, Freak, you're going to have to decide the legacy you want to leave. But I'm not some agent from the Yellow Pages. I'm Dom Pagnotti. I'm the Slick man, the myth, hair. the legend, the king number one. I'm the best, and I'm a shark. And the Pagnotti shark is working for you. And we got to set new goals and bigger goals, okay? I'm talking all-star game. Ooh. I'm talking dunk contest. Ooh. When was the last time you saw an NBA great in a dunk contest, huh? Been a I'm while. Talking first team all-NBA, first team all-defensive team. Ooh. What Yo. about social media? He will. Yvette, great the idea. thing about Dom, he will Facebook, gas you to the heavens Twitter, and then Instagram. watch Let's you go 29th overall in the draft. www.freakingandvibing.com. That's right. Your own website. I've already set it up for you, and it's running great. Wait, hold okay? up. Listen, I'm in negotiations right now vibe and on a feature that will allow viewers to watch Freak and only him and his plays during the game. Yeah, but you set up a website without consulting me? Yeah. When did this happen? Last week. Uh-oh. Oh, this is going to be epic. Be quiet, Chenny. CC, I love you, but I got no time to waste. And you're out there you busy ever had doing whatever, you toast do. whatever crunch? I'm doing. You know what? I'm really sick and tired of the disrespect. This is Team <laughs> Freak, not the Dom Pagnotti I Italian American Opera. CC, calm down, all right? Dom hey, yo. just trying to take us Why to all the your shirts got a split in the middle? You I keep sneezing. You're here when your job is to look good and shut up. CC, chill. No, I'm done chilling. Between your clown agent and your gold digging girlfriend, I've had enough gold digger. You're the winner of the Lucky Sperm contest, and I'll have you know I am currently Lucky starting sper my yo, they, yo, fashion line. This right here. From Beijing to what Milan. kids was Not playing to this? I graduated top of my class. Summa cum laude. You mean thank you, laude? I don't need a man to save me or provide for me, okay? I got my own. Boo. Mm, okay, well, if that's the case, then why has all your success and fame coincided with your relationship with my brother? I mean, if you're really on top of your game, wouldn't that have happened before y'all even met? Ooh. Right? You know what, CC? You're just jealous. It's okay, though. Why don't you just play the background, yeah? Oh, Enjoy the my ride. God! Done yet. May I continue? Yo, now, yo! Listen, as far as movie properties go, I've and already freak got a you dirty for just letting that rock, bro. You're supposed to okay. jump in there, so de-escalate, you feel me? Freaking in vibe. Shut that Life down. Times, volume one. Life the freak and Times, I'm, I'm freak Jay Z the fast now. Fast and Furious Part One does it, and this one's my favorite. Freak, you're gonna love this. He got Pagnotti. <laughs> oh, okay. He right? got no, Pagnotti. No, no, no. Yo, what? Look, you're the man, but you're not the man. Okay, you work for me. What's Don Pagnotti, the agent lead. on? Um, I'm your ideas, but in due time. After he got game two. Court, you gotta watch him, bro. Some of your ideas at a later date. Understood? Yeah, we're cooling the gang, bro. That's all you gotta say. All right, good. Thank you. Vet, chill. You cannot let Cece get underneath your skin. But on but the same token, you cannot go out of your way to piss her off. I don't have time to be playing peacekeeper between you two. You know what? We need to talk about this afterwards alone. Fine. Cece? Cece? You need to hold this together. 
you and I both agree long ago that Don was the best agent for me. He has delivered. Always no, he hasn't. He told is you he was going first yes overall. Yes. I went 29th. Sharpest. He's what's best for me, which means he is what's best for all of us. Your job is to bring us balance. Manage the team, sis. We all need to be on the same page. I ain't gonna lie, this does give you on a very minor scale what an athlete or like the breadwinner for the entire family, not just his family, the entire family has to deal with. Like all these personalities, little arguments popping up here and there, people not agreeing on what you should do with your life and your money. That's what you get a little piece of that, bro. Zucchini. Zucchini, bro. What? Man, oh man. Now we got the shoes. Bring me the shoes. By the way, uh, I've been getting a couple dunks here and there. Yo, look at these. You love them? I love them. These got to be the worst signature shoes in the history of 2K history. These are whack. Bro, I play for the freaking Brooklyn Nets. Why would you give me Nick colorway shoes, bro? Days or less. Money. That is okay. gross, bro. That's nasty. Hey, 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 hey. I can get with that dance, though. You feel me? Ha! Throw one of those up in there. Here we go. Some more Vic action. As I was saying, we ain't seen big problem artists. That is the grossest fit I ever seen. And they playing 2K16 in the back. That fit is atrocious. No, 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 no. Um, and look, she got the split in her joint. She sneezed again. Her chew moves. Split the whole joint open. Yo, the streets he better be using the Warriors. And then not convinced. Come on, bro. Vic, how many Go times do I have to tell you? The streets ain't always right. Nah, 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 nah. It's always good in the hood. Uh, let's not forget, I am a student of human nature. Yo, that chin, I, I can't stop looking at it. I don't know what's worse, the chin, the sharp chin, look like a samurai dagger, sitting on store or that outfit collecting my dust. man's Vic got on. OK, what are your suggestions, Victor? He wants you to rob a bodega. <laughs> Yo, this sorry. story is crazy. Why would they even say that? <laughs> Look, man, I'm not talking about some focus. Group. By the I, way, I don't really do too much of this. Like when I'm let me know what y'all think. When I'm chilling with my homies, I don't need my girl around. Not because of me talking about something I don't want her to. My homies yeah, don't need to be that familiar with my girl. They don't need to, they don't need to be that familiar. Unless it's like a group setting where his girl is there, you know, that type of thing. We out. But if we just at the crib, People she don't need to be around. Don't they don't, they don't need to be that familiar. Anymore. Look at me. I don't play that. People don't recognize themselves in who you are. Okay, you want to recalibrate? Fine, B. Go ahead. We'll recalibrate back to Harlem. Remind these well, fools where you are. Right wrong. in Brooklyn, bro. Brooklyn like, I ain't go that far, saying, bro. Like, where's that Jesus piece you used to rock? Not that, that shuttle's work. With them fake chains we used to wear. Yo, but that's my point. So let me get you some nice jewels, huh? Make it flossy. Get you a new whip, something that the hood would love. Let's remind these fools that you the Harlem Renaissance up in this piece. Whoa! Get a club, I don't know, something. Just Big speaking, around, I mean, at least get me some, too. Yeah, hey, yo, relax. Nice see, see, see. Nah, for real, relax, see. relax. She after the chicken. Man, let me find out you, you are a gold digger. Hold on. Yo. Cats be laughing at your corner commercials, B. Come on. But that's what I'm saying. Yo, Yo we could change all that. Vic, Ain't man, no I, I'm gonna have some words to say no, about this. And total, totality. Total, now, and it's total. And it's totality. Total. Totality. Once it's done. Why, why couldn't I say that word? CEO, I'm the CFO, Chief Lawson Officer. You hit me with that bread, and I got you. CC. And there goes CC. Let's go. Way. Shut it down, CC. Uh, CC. He's trying to get some chicken. Yo, yeah, what up? And private? CC, go ahead. Okay, well, I thought we were supposed to be having a private meeting today to discuss business. CC, what you think we're doing? Am I talking to you? Woo! You know what? Y'all ain't talking business. Y'all talking nonsense. We were actually discussing the questionable nature of the promotional strategy that you and Dom have employed on Freak's behalf. Now, it doesn't necessarily resonate with his core fan base primarily. Yo, don't sneeze, don't tickle her nose, boy. And history in favor of reaching a larger, primarily more disinterested demographic that would prefer to judge Frick's past as opposed to appreciate it. <laughs> Yo, Yo, what Yvette said, four times 25. 
one honey. Oh, so now you know your time's tables. They be going you in, bro. She be cooking, Vic, too. It doesn't mean you have business acumen. Beyond, of course, your clear mastery of basic arithmetic. We all know you can add up how much freak makes. Okay, Cece, that's enough. <laughs> no, no, you know what, Cece? Ooh. You're absolutely Anywho, right. Freak. And the speaking reason... of basic arithmetic, how much of freak's money do you take? Okay, I mean, what did I just say manager about team what? Freak? A manager? What did I just say about team no. freak? The only members of Good. team freak in here are me and you. Oh, you know what, Cece? This isn't the womb, okay? It's not just you and freak. Speaking of, how's that going? for you. Hey, come on. Oh, oh no, hey. Talk to me Yo. like that, really? Is you can check on you know, yeah. 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 I'm out. You know what? I think I'll join you. You know you went crazy when, when Vic started like, Yo, Please, you well, and that's when you know you well. I to hear what you all were just discussing. Better yet, let me guess. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see if she get it right. Hey, yo, I'm saying, dude, what you need to do is hit up these parties. Yeah, you need to show these fools how you still have mad love for the hood. Get you some flossy jewels. Make sure every time they see you whistling the new whip. Better yet, let's get us a dealership or a club or something. Never mind that house you promised your twin sister, you promised you get for your parents who are still in the projects where you left them. Yo, that's not fair. I ain't leaving my ass. Hey, and you know, I'll never leave my parents a project. Thing, fam. I'll take care of everything. All you gotta do is break me off with that bread. Woo! She broke yeah, it down. That's what I thought. You would have thought she was in the room when he was talking. He looking at Vic like, oh, hold up. You know what, CC? I don't know what's going on with and you. And he looking at her crazy. But I think it's best you go home. We will continue our meeting here. You asking me to leave? Oh, yes. my God. It's all good, man. As a matter of fact, CC. I know you don't like me. You never have. Now, I don't know what I ever did to you. But at this point, does it really matter anymore? Look, I just want you to know that I'm really sorry. But whatever it was, I can honestly say it was not intentional. Right? It freaked Think about what I said earlier, man. I ain't trying to catch no charge. Bet, you ready? Let's bounce. Where they go? But I always thought something was going on between them two, bro. And that probably was the original thing for the script. Because why did they leave together? Yvette, you ready? What you mean? What? Like, see, this is why I don't play those games. My homies and my, yo, y'all don't need to really be knowing each other like that. It ain't no point. No, I love you. Ain't no much. reason. Then how come you always put them before me? I don't put anyone above you, not even myself. You sure about that, CC? What would you just call all this? I mean, you come in here blowing up my spot and you insult my brother? He's not our brother. You disrespect my woman. Woo! He's trying to protect you. She From did disrespect her, though. But you don't think I realize that I have vultures and blood sucking leeches in my life? Don't think I realize that you're one of them? Woo! Yeah, but you know what? That's what I think the problem is. Because you realize you know better than them and you're ashamed. Woo! But in fact, you're worse because we share the same blood. And just because they don't have the same blood running through their veins as us doesn't mean that they don't love me. Yeah, their love might be flawed, but it's true. Yes, what you sir. Need to understand is I don't need you to protect me anymore. I don't mind the people closest to me leeching off me. Yes, you do leech off me, and I leech off you too. You love business and you love me. I use that. Vic? Uh, Vic? You know you don't mind running these streets. He's my connection to things I don't want to deal with anymore, so I let him do him. I take care of him, and in return, he looks out for me in places you know you can. And as much as you don't want to hear this, Yvette, she is the eye of the storm in my life right man, now. Man, oh, man. Had to sit it down, had to talk. She is my only calm. Peace. Grown man talk. My shelter. Grown man business. I use these people and they use me. I just don't call it that, CC. I, I see I what call he's saying. What you do using me. I call what you do caring for me. I get what he's saying. Like, forgive yourself. And forgive if you really me. sit and think about it, all relationships that you have you. with someone, you're using them you for your benefit this. and they're using you just for their me. benefit. Like, the relationship okay, you have with your girlfriend, you're using her for happiness. Born. Remember? 
She I'm using you for her happiness, I hope. That's right. You know, it was me and you and the world. You know what I mean? Right? Right? I was born first. <laughs> yeah, you were. Mm, 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 mm. Swish. All right, we got her back on track. Got her more level-headed. Hopefully her and Big Chin can get it together. Thank yes, you. sir! Wow. I know y'all know yo, yo. this wow. classic cutscene. Classic! I'm, I'm letting y'all know right now, I'm gonna be quiet for most of this cutscene, bro. Too classic. Hold on. They call me Basquiat. Talk that talk, yes, sir! Paint me street corners green. I'm a bank of the color of the sea. Half man, half of the maze. Hey, look at all the dollar sign. Got a pulpit. I got a sense of the rings. Call me focus before the boss key. I'm a street street hopeless. I'm not Yo, why, yo, how did 2K let us line? <laughs> Love when the honey's hot, but they on top, make it drunk, bop, bop. That's not what he said, but you know what I mean. And this beat hard, too. That beat was fire. What's the name? He goes by the name Basquiat, yo. Basquiat puts game down on him. And I think this is the last time we seen We record a nice mixtape. Hey, do a nice video, get some honeys up in there dancing. Hey, we could build a franchise around this, yo. Hey, who want us to do a deal, freak? I mean, what you mean by us, V? I mean us, as in you and me, me and you, putting some serious skrill up. You ain't got no and... money, bro. What you mean? Put put me on, man. Us. I'm Basquiat. What? You heard me? <laughs> I'm Basquiat. <laughs> That's me. That's you? Yeah. One hundred. <laughs> Okay, you nice with it. What? <laughs> yeah. Wow, okay. Oh, man, man, oh man, this is gonna take a turn, yeah. bro. Like I said, I think no this is the last time we're gonna really happen. see Vic in the cutscene. And in the end, we reap all the benefits. Think about it. That's true. Man, oh man. Had to make this turn. Hold on, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I know what you're thinking. Mm. I know as we pass Colonel Young Park, too. <laughs> Yo, Coach Judy was the best. I remember when she took us from park to park so we could play ball. And she taught us how to be comfortable in places other than the courts and the projects. Word, word. Yeah, yeah. Yo, Coach true. Judy would have us shoot hundreds of jumpers all <laughs> over the court with both hands. <laughs> and you caught on to the ambidextrous thing real <laughs> fast, though. Right. <laughs> now, but you were a beast with the hops. You were like 13. Five, six, and could reverse dunk with two hands. Yeah, Come on, right. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah, right. All the older dudes out on the court. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good crazy. times. Yeah, right. Man. I'm good with you. He don't even like he can hoop. We need to see him touch a ball, bro. Here you go. What's wrong, Vic? Here you go. Bro. Should have just left it alone. It's not the man. It's this it's reminds me of that join the Lucas song, bro. Come on, Vic, fess up. That join the Lucas, the one that just dropped with bro from Power in it. Oh, just Romini, Romani, whatever his name you is. Are. You know how I blessed you. You, know, you. you grew up with a mom's and a dad, both parents. Your family treated me like family when my dad died in Green Haven in his ninth year. On his 40 year bit. You remember that? Oof. Yeah. And I turn around, my mom's died from that flu. But that sick parting gift my dad left my mom's. No, I feel you, big. Woo! I right, know what parting gift you're talking about. Hold up. This is about to get good. Let me get my trolley down. So you're gonna patronize me now? Mm -hmm. You're gonna pity the little boy who's. Worthless, low-budget parents died from AIDS. Is that what you gonna oh do? Oh my God! Yo, don't don't pity me. I don't blame me neither. As a matter of fact, go play the lottery. Cause hey, you never know. Your chances might Yo, be better. Big, 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 big. What are you doing right now? You got everything, don't you, freak? Oh my God! Here we go. What do I have? Nothing. Man, I got nothing. You, 
You won't even... You won't even... You cheap butt won't even front me! The Skrilla I need the back... A Basquiat mixtape, yo! I ain't even hit a whole that. tape, bro. I hold a couple bars, I get banned bro. from traveling with the team. I get banned from the locker rooms. I get banned from the arena. Yeah, bro, you went wild. What? Would you let them do this to your best friend, man? I ain't let them do what nothing. friend are you? Vic, you being serious right now. You're serious. Yeah, Yo, you sound like you on some Welch's sour grape right now, man. You jelly? I ain't jealous of you, freak. You sure, man? Because this, well, I don't know what you call this little tirade. It spreads like some Welch's grape jelly. Are you jealous? Like I said, I ain't jealous of you. Here As a go. matter of fact, I think you are jealous of me. <laughs> hey, oh, yeah, that's right. I think you jealous of the way that I'm laying it down with these hottie hotties on Instagram while you stuck at home with your one blazing beauty. Hey, yo, chill. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's when I thought that's he was right. going to admit like they yeah, was together right. or something like that. Yeah, don't get heated because you went behind my back to get out of bed. And she turned you down, B. Oh! Hmm? Oh! Oh! Whoa, I forgot wrong, about Bosky that! Ass? There's no way I could be yeah, seen. This is what I'm right. telling y'all, bro. I'll give you a free game. Out there drowning in the middle of a whack lake without a lifesaver. Uh, there's brother, no way we could be cool after that. You know how I get. All right, I was I was feeling a little friendly. I yeah. got a little loose with it. No. Oh, yeah, 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 I was yeah, just yeah, up yeah, and yeah, out. Yeah, you yeah. know me, man. Save that riff for Heathcliff. You bet told me y'all about it. Mm, I can never be cool with bro after love. that. See if you ever was gonna mention it. You did it. You broke the code, B. One never steps to his boy's boo even after they break up. But you broke the code. And you know you did. But you know what? It's still all love here. Nah. But it's you who chooses this life in these streets. You know, you want to get on, on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, on Tinder. On trying Tinder. Trying to chase these thirsty tens. Woo! Yeah, use my name as a coupon. Reel them all in. Hey, sweet thing. Hey, hey sweetie pie. pie. Hey, shawty, you know I'm an <laughs> FOF, a friend, a freak. And oh when they husbands God. and boyfriends start coming after you, and you want to play the macho man role, start throwing hands, scrapping and fighting, who's the one that has to bail you out of jail? Huh? Who's the one that has to pay Ooh. these lawyers in six figure settlements? Huh? There it go! Me! Not you. Oh no, not you, Vic. And then, and then when you wanna throw these lavish parties without consulting me, who's the one stuck with the bill, Vic? Huh? Me! Not you, but me! Woo! I have hit you off in the past 10 months with a quarter of a million dollars, Vic. A quarter of a million dollars! That's a lot of money. And what are you doing? I don't mind you eating. But when you being a glutton, and a glutton off my plate, and my food, love is love. But I'm keeping it 10 times 10 with you right now, Vic. 100. As usual, 100. Cooking. Bro, cooking. Serving up a slice. The Freakathon. Yo, what the heck was that flyer, bro? Y'all right. going to the Freakathon? Right, Freak. <laughs> You've been carrying me for a long time. And I've been a burden and a hindrance to you. And I'm sorry. I don't apologize. Get your, your life right, young boy. I thank you for your generosity of friendship. I thank you for your generosity of spirit. You know what? It's all good, my brother. But you owe me. Oh, you. Yeah, you owe me. Yeah, how you figure Big that? Big time. Uh huh. How? How? What happened, Dirty Vic? Bike, Don. Oh my God, Vic. <laughs> Remember him? Dude who was robbing everybody in the towers? Vic, I thought we was never, ever gonna talk about that. Oh, oh Vic wrong. brought out the secret weapon. Ah, <laughs> uh, I remember it like it was yesterday. Remember when we were on the stairwell in the building? Remember that? We had just brought our sheepskin coach from Delancey Street, a senior year of high school. You oh, my God, bro. Were the hottest prospect in the country. <laughs> and and Donnie's jealous butt, man. He had it out for you and me. But more so you, Free. More so you. More so you. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when he saw our brand new fresh sheepskin coats? Oh, dude lost his mind. 
He ran up on you and told you to run it. Man. Oh, man, he wanted your Yo, no, nah, bitch. Oh, told you to run it. No, we were fighting, all right? We were fighting. Okay, then he reached in this coat. And when he pulled, yeah. we struggled, man. Yeah. And it, when he pulled back, he fell down stairway by himself right, and cracked right, his head right. in two. Man, hey, calm down, calm down, calm down. Yo, it's all good. That it's boy good, got fam. a body. I was there. Remember that? I was there. I saw the whole thing. <laughs> it's like you said. Everything happened so fast. You he know, caught a he body. was working off of adrenaline and pure instinct. I know you didn't try and do it. I know you didn't try and do it, man. Yeah. Woo! Anyway, I took care of all the loose ends when you ran down the flight of steps. Left me holding the bag. Mmm. Yeah. So your secret is safe for me, Freak. Has been and always will be. Safe from that same morality clause that you threw in my face when I was banned from your NBA life. <laughs> so, next time you want to talk about food, remember. Woo! When Dirt Bike Donnie looked at you like food, who was it that saved the day? Here you go. Me! It was me! Victor Van Leer, who cleaned your dirty plate for you. Look at his face. You're a clean freak. You clean it in the board of health. Cause of who? Cause of me. You got all this because of me. And don't you ever forget that. I'm pulling over. Let's get the ones, bro. Like that's what you gotta do. Sometimes you gotta get ones in with your bros, bro. That's all it takes some time. <laughs> Look at his face, salty. Look at that face over there. Oh, bro got this man. 3D FOF hat, bro. Crazy. Yo, your fits are atrocious, Vic. Hey, I, I just thought of something so funny. You gonna get kicked out of this? You gonna get kicked out of this? Yo, I need you to ask you for one more favor. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious, bro. That's hilarious. Hey, hey, it might be the last favor I ever ask of you, but you gotta admit that's what it's for. Yeah, of course. Anything for FOF. <laughs> oh, <laughs> says the NBA megastar, his voice dripping with the sarcasm. <laughs> bro, you hey. got a quarter million dollars <laughs> and your fits is this trash, bro. You got to get it together. this here ride, man. <laughs> hey, come on, come on. It's not like you're going to miss it. It's just going to sit in your Tribeca garage next to your Aston Martin and your Lambo. Mm. And we both know they're collecting dust. <laughs> Yo, how many whips you got anyway? Man, come on. Yeah, you're right. I don't even want to know. Yo, this ride is for sure an aphrodisiac for all the hottie hots. <laughs> bro, it's really man, a menace, we live bro. In life, man. Vic was a My menace. Man, man, frequency vibrations. We for sure living the dream. I need this back at the end of the season. And the same condition, repeat, same condition. Same condition. That I lent it to you. Mm -hmm. Pristine, Vic. I know, I know what that word means. <laughs> hey, I won't let you down, man. I'm gonna treat this ride like one of my own hottie hots. No. No? Hottie no, hots. No, you not. Not in this car, you not. No. <laughs> All right, man. I won't let you down, OK? I will change my ways, I promise. Yo, you hungry? I'm hungry, man. Let's go get something to eat, man. Let's, let's, get, let's, let's get some grub. Huh? What do you say? What do you say? I ain't gonna lie, bro. After he brought up Donnie, that might have sealed the deal for him. Freak might be the one that set him up. I ain't gonna lie. It might have been the one, because he looked real salty in that driver's seat when he brought that up, bro. And we back at the crib after a stressful day. With Vic, bro. Oh, my God. That dude there, boy, oh, boy. He a different breed, man. I ain't gonna lie. Stressed out. This is right here when he thinking about the plan. Yo, we got to get rid of bro. Bro is reckless, and I've been wearing these 2K generics with no socks this whole time. Nasty, sweaty foot boy. But this is right here when he started to realize, bro, we got to go ahead and pack him up. 
We might have to pack that man up, bro. Ain't nothing good coming out of this situation. We got to pack up. <laughs> we got to pack up Vic. Man, oh, man. Bro, just pacing a lot of, around the living room. No music. No TV. Yvette prop finally Great. back at the crib. I didn't expect you to be here. Yeah, who you got with you? Hmm. You okay? What's going on? I gotta kill Vic. That's what he said. <laughs> gotta kill Vic. <laughs> oh, Shoulders are really tight. Are they stressing you out again? Yeah. Well, you know you always got me, right? I'm always gonna be here. Baby, I'm your ride or die. You, hey, I might be dying if you Your sneeze above dead? me right now. Please don't. You and I are the real team freak. <laughs> of course. What are my moms? Yeah, right. Watch out for her, bro. I don't know. I kind of need one of those right now. I ain't going to hold you. Somebody, you know, hey, come hook your boy out right quick. Man, oh, man. Back at the team owner's office. Hey, how are that you? fit you is again? gross. Yo, I don't know what's up with these people wearing these gross do, fits. Right? There's no Bad way I should be the freshest one in the room Watch wearing the, the Rookieville card. Classic. Funny, comedian. I thought you would have invested in some new clothes. Let's see what's going on. on. I see you still rocking that Goodwill look. Freak, what are you hanging around with this guy for? You know he's bad company, right? Got no choice. He helped me pay the bills. Plus, yes, my mother sir. loves him. Why does music so sad? Thank you all for coming by on such short notice. So you know why we're here, right? Not really. You want to negotiate an extension for Freak, right? Well, since you mentioned it. Your client is quickly becoming a liability for this organization. Or they playing the piano. Please let me finish. Thank you. Myself, the front office, and the coaches are not satisfied with the adjustments you've made in your life off the court. What about on the court? I follow on every game. About the company you keep, and we're fed <laughs> up with the late nights and showing up late to shoot arounds and the bad press and the incident at the nightclub. I told you Vic was going to be your downfall, and I was right. Something has to change now, or we're not going to need your services any longer. Hey, if this is about that Twitter stuff. Vic was playing. Okay, it was a joke. It's not about that. It's everything. But like I told you before, Vic is my best friend. I can't just cut him off. He's practically family. Not really. What exactly are you trying to say? I'm not trying to say anything. They're trying Don. to pack him up. I'm saying it. Freak and his friend Vic are a problem for me and this organization. And I called you in here to figure out how we all together can fix this problem. And right now, I'm only seeing one solution. One solution, what is it? Freak may need to make some adjustments in his personal life off the court, but that's a learning okay, process. no more we piano, we back to that. But this, this almost sounds like a threat. And Dom Pagnotti doesn't take too kindly to threats. Is this a threat? Call it what you will. Yo, we team owner be going in, bro. He don't care about because nothing. He doesn't seem to realize that it's my brother. I'm sorry, bro, but enough is enough. I don't have a problem with what you're saying. I have a problem with how you're saying it. Now, I know we can come to some understanding without all the ultimatums or threats. Can we all come to a understanding, a compromise? No, no more compromises. I already warned Freak. I told you, don't be a hero. Cut that zero. Cut him. It's cut Vic loose. Or we trade Freak. It's that simple. Woo! Fine, we'll go sign with trade another team. Me. Good luck with that, Pagnotti. Get me out of because here. Because of Vic, Freak's reputation precedes him. No, because of Freak's God-given talent, his reputation precedes him. Everybody's been talking. Yeah, yeah, we talking. Don, What's you up? know how this works. This is not I'll about out every game, baby. our history. This oh, is about talent? your client. Help him. You're talking as if I'm invisible. You're talking around me, about me, but not to me. Vic has always had my back. And I've given this team everything I got. I practice hard. I play hard. Yeah, some nights I got it, some nights I don't. Some days I might even show up a little late to shoot arounds. But every time I'm on that car, I've always given my best. Yes, sir. And I see how it is, though. I mean, us players got to be loyal to you, but you don't have to be loyal to us players. Woo! You try to give me some father and son talk, talking about how you love your players and how you look up for them. Come on, man. You trying to cut me off like you cut off Izzy. Don't you have Spin. people loyal to you no matter what? People you can't cut off? Well, that's me and Vic. Vic and me. Y'all insist, really. They could tell me stop hanging with Vic. 
What makes you think they won't tell me to stop talking to you? That's a fact. Hey, you remember, in seventh grade, some guys were trying to jump me over some girl. Vic was the one to get some friends just to walk me home. And when they came, we went at it, but I wasn't alone. Yo, they talk about scrapping. Well, they don't do this to 2K no more. Vic, put the word on the street that nobody should mess with me because I had a future. Vic was protecting me. And sir, I, I know, I know Vic is crazy. <laughs> you caught him crazy. But, he more than crazy. Before all, you gonna get the, the news hype soon. And the lights, <laughs> media, that, that, that's fine. Bang. I shouldn't have said that. It was just me and Vic. He's always been there. I mean, if y'all don't like that, I don't know what to say. It hurts me to say this, but I see his point. What you don't understand is that the league doesn't have your back anymore. Not like they used to. They try, but it's too much. Social media has changed everything. And this last incident with Vic, that was the final straw. It was a joke. It wasn't What funny. did he say on Twitter? You know it wasn't a joke. Vic was defending you, stepping in to protect your honor by attacking another teammate like that? Who is he talking about, Jerry Jack? His manhood, his wife, his kids, his family, so you can be the big dog on the court? Some call oh, yeah, that's crazy. They all know your relationship with Vic, so they think it's coming from you. But that's the media blowing everything out of proportion as usual. It's not just the media. He's attacking other players, other teams. He's out of control. Vic just doesn't know how to behave. We got guys on our Yo. squad who don't want to be here because of that beef. There is no place for that kind of inappropriate behavior in this league. If you can't trust your teammates, who can you trust? What I didn't know he was cooking like that. Right. He's bringing you down, and people can see it. I see how all the other players are looking at you. Oh, it's not cool. It's not cool at all. What, don't talk to him? Don't hang with him? You do what you got to do. That's your call. But let me tell Dang. you this. You asked me if I had friends that I couldn't cut off? Yeah, I did for a while. Friends, business partners, girlfriends, wives, family that I thought wives. I couldn't cut off. But I learned that, that sometimes you got to make the hard decisions. <laughs> hey, yo, chill, I mean, chill, 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 chill. If you made this deep into this video, heard that joke, chill, 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 relax. Relax, don't say nothing. <laughs> they were good for the time that they were there, but I grew up, not in age and maturity, but in mind and spirit. I was ready for the next level in my life. And I'll be honest with you, I've been on the receiving end of that. I've been cut off before myself, and yeah, it hurt at the time, but looking back, they were doing the right thing for me. Just don't tell my ex-wife that, Pagnotti. So what's the next move? The next move is freaks, it always has been. Question is, is he ready and willing to do what needs to be done? Listen, man, what they need to do is let me make the decision. This is messed up. You take a moment to think about it, but think long, think wrong. Whew. The snafu should have been cleaned up a long time ago. Think long, you, you think got wrong. Games Freak, you gotta handle your business. Okay, we've all said our piece. You might cut me off as your manager, but I will always be your sister. It's when this is on you. I might not like it, but I will respect any decision you make. Let me make the choice. I'm sticking with the homie, straight up. I don't play them games like that. And look at... <laughs> Yvette, please. Well, she to walk in, smack her, smack her. Shoot, I, I, I don't, look, man, the way this story been going mad gritty and crazy, I don't put it past them. CC, Yvette. Where's Dom? I had him call you. Why? I'ma cut right to the chase. My brother is deeply in love with you. Yes, sir. And I'm ready to put our differences aside if you are. Yes, really. sir. On a strain. I'm, I'm with it. Team Freak. Team Freak. Yes, sir. All right, so if you're gonna be down with the team, I gotta show you the dap. Oh, the dap. Okay. Team free. Oh. One, two, three. Shoot. Switch. How do you shoot like this? Again, like. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three. Switch. Yes, sir. Okay. She got like a down pack. Cool, yeah. <laughs> oh, yo, that sh chin is sharp like a blade. Be careful. Be careful, okay? I just finished the last game of the season. To respect that injury. You're a man and uh, of here we go, guys. It's my responsibility to here point we out go. The consequences of that way of thinking. 
Now, for you, winning is everything, but winning isn't something you could do alone. It requires excellent or, at the very least, competent coaching, contributing teammates, and God willing, good health. And we all know that's not a guarantee. That's a fact. Now, the reality is you're not in control of any of those other factors. But if you, as the star player, fail to win and deliver a championship, you will be held responsible. You will be scapegoated, you will be villainized, and you will be punished accordingly. That's so true. So when you say to me that as a free agent, all you care about is being in the best position to win, I understand what you mean. But again, that's not only up to you. Now, I'm going to call my guy at Apollo Jets. I'm going to get us a private plane for this tour. Woo! I promise you, you're going to love the free agency experience. How am I a free agent after one this, rookie season, bro? It cost us in some of these negotiations. We had 10 teams interested. We now only have three. But thankfully, thankfully, you wised up when it came to Vic. You only got three? That's you tough. in contact with Vic? Yo, freak, look at me. He still has one of my cars, Dom. What did I tell you about the L word? The L word? What is Loyalty. Uh, I got those I don't pianos. I know what kind of hold this Vic has over you, but it makes me scared. You're a free agent for the first time in your career, and the only person you need to be loyal to is you. You need to be an FOF. You need to be a friend of Freak. Let's forget about winning without appropriate compensation and loyalty that hasn't been earned and isn't deserved. This is a tough business, Freak. We need to be tougher. Dang. Come on. Bro, Dom becoming correct. Seriously? I gotta what? admit. Lord Jesus, I was about to blow a gasket. <sighs> okay, Freak. Now, our, there are very few options on the table, and I want you to explore them all before making your final decision. Heard you, Whatever heard you decide, you. it needs to be an informed decision, not an emotional one. Heard you, the heard you. markets, the greater resources at your disposal, and exposure for you. But if you don't allocate these resources properly, then it's just a big spotlight on you as you lose. Well, heard thank you, you heard you. Exists. She's right, Freak. Thanks, Doc. Absolutely. Team Freak. That's what we're about. Oh, whoa, whoa, I don't know if I like this. What? what? Dom and CC high-fiving like that? I mean, yeah, why you got so certain I'm gonna lose? Whoa, whoa, whoa. No one thinks you're going to lose. Bro. You guys sure sound like it. We just want you to select a franchise that has great coaching, super talent exposure, but most importantly, a ton of cap space. If the team doesn't win and you're to blame, at least you won't be broke, capiche? Yeah, I feel also, you. Also, you should make sure it's somewhere you want to raise a family, but no pressure. Oh my God! <laughs> you guys have made this decision so. Chin much is wildin', bro. What did mom and dad Look, say? got the whole. Told you, she sneezed today. I mean, but honestly, I'm torn. I've heard and listened to what you've all had to say. Don't take this the wrong way. There's just one person I haven't heard from, and that's Vic. Oh, Lord help us. Yo, this dude is insane, bro. Dude trying to call Vic. Let's see if he's gonna answer. Let's see if he answer you. Yo, Vic, where you at? I've been trying to call you, man. Hit me back. He didn't answer. Probably laying in a ditch somewhere. No, let me... You know, he's probably somewhere too loud to hear his phone. I don't know. I think Vic's actually upset with me. And free agency. You guys get to see free agency, honestly. Bro, my stat, I probably average like two points per game. And now I'm free agent, I'm going straight to the New York Knicks. Um, I guess we could, oh, it, you gotta do three teams. All right, advance. I'm going to the Barkers, baby. Oh, I forgot you get to uh, negotiate. I'm gonna uh, negotiate both for everyone, both, yes sir, and advance, and I'm just gonna accept whatever the Knicks give me. Yes sir, and the Knicks did not give me more money or nothing, bro, look at my plans. <laughs> Let me just accept my deal from the New York Knicks. Ain't nobody giving me nothing. I told y'all, my stats were trash. Here we go, man. All right. The moment. The biggest moment. Woo. I left Brooklyn. Woo. I stayed in New York. And right. I went to the Knickerbockers. Hello. You already know what type of hey, well, time I'm on, baby. for coming here today. I especially like to thank God, my Lord and Savior. Yes, sir. My family, my agent, Mr. Don Pagnotti. Twin sister and manager, CC. My lady, thank you guys for all your support. Yes, sir. I'd also like to thank all the fans um, and all the people out there who consider themselves an FOF, a friend of free. My free agency has been nothing short of amazing. And frankly, it has been a dream come true. But like most dreams, the reality is very different from what I imagined. Though it's I wouldn't true. change a thing about this period and the time I spent in the NBA, I can honestly say that 
Nothing has been more gratifying and more difficult than choosing where to play next year. I sought the wise counsel of my loved ones. Nothing puts me at ease more than knowing that regardless of my decision, you guys will be there for me no matter what. Y'all know what we came here to see, man. Come on. Now, Come on, get so to it. There are wonderful teams in the league, each filled with stellar talent and all vying to be number one. For me, there's nothing more important than winning and surrounding myself with those who feel just as passionately about the game as I do. Yes, sir. And have an unrelenting desire to win a championship ring. Yes, sir. That's what matters most to me. Yes, sir. So it is for this reason, above all, that I have decided to choose the New York Knicks. Yes, sir! Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. You already know what type of time when I was on, bro. I had to go back to the bitty. Uh -huh. Man, oh, man. Oh, oh, the moment we've all been waiting for. Bro came in there. Hand that. Hand that, man. Hold on. The moment we all been waiting for, though. It's about to get crazy. It's about to get crazy. Gotta call, be right back. I gotta call finally. Yo, fool, where you been? I've been trying to call you. Mr. Freak. Oh, the fans! Who is this? This is Officer Vasquez with the 9th Precinct. Officer Vasquez? What the Vic do now? Mr. Freak, there's been an accident. Look, we're gonna need you to come down to the following address as soon as possible. What kind of accident? Put Vic on the phone. Put Vic on the phone. That, sir. No, 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 you're not hearing me. I want to talk to Vic. Look, Look, Vic sir, on that piano. Oh. Uh, no, no, no. Hey, hey, What's listen, listen, on? listen, listen, oh. listen. Put down the phone, and I don't want to hear it get picked up until Victor Van Leer is on the give phone. Me the phone. Put oh, Vic on the phone. Mr. Freak, Mr. Van Leer was killed in a car accident. What's going on? Give me the phone. The car he was driving was registered to you. We were able no. to identify him from the flyer. Listen to me. Session. Freak, I don't want to talk to you no more. Freak, give me oh. the phone. Oh, hi, excuse me, hi. Yes. This is Cece. This is Freak's manager. Who am I speaking with? Hi, yes, look, we're gonna need somebody to come down and identify Mr. Van Leer. Uh, eyewitnesses say that he was involved in a car chase. Two cars were chasing him, and as the chase escalated, he eventually lost control and crashed. Oh! Look, I'm, I'm really sorry for your loss. Oh, oh, oh. Hello. Outside of the deceased, was anybody else injured? Hey! Vic died in a car accident. Oh! What? Yeah. Oh! He said he was in a car chase. My heart! No. Freak, I'm sorry. <laughs> he died. He died. Oh. <laughs> hey, hold on, sis. Oh, hey, hold on. You bet. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm up. You said, oh, dang! I'm so sorry. They smoked the home. <laughs> they smoked the home. Oh, not like that, bro. Ugly boy. Hey, I ain't never seen a man cry so ugly in my life. Did you see his face? Boy, it was ugly. Man, oh man. Right here in the dome. Go ahead and wrapping this thing up, bro. Took me a few hours to get through this entire thing, but we right back here, same outfit, same everything. Same court. Deep down, he was a good person at heart, but he was never quite right. Something was always off with him, even when we were little growing up. I know, I know, but... I loved him anyway. I knew he was trying to take advantage of our friendship, but I didn't care. We were boys, ride or die. You know that? Ride or die. Just hope Vic finally found peace he in died. that he never found in life. He died. Well, may he rest That's in tough. peace. <laughs> when you really sit down and think about it, life is like the length, blink of an eye. And that's mm -hmm. so quick. We spent a third sleeping in bed, a third trying to figure this thing called life out. <laughs> Yo, by the time we think you got it all figured out, you only got a third of your life left. Yeah. yeah. Life's a trip. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> Life's a trip. <sighs> ten times ten. Oh, honey. <laughs> hey, yo. Shout out to my man Vic. <laughs> Shout out to Vic. <laughs> Come on, let's bounce. All right. Yeah, I'm about man, to man, man, man. You better not. <laughs> you better not. We ain't kids no more. Let's go, let's go holler at mom and dad right quick, man. Hey. Go holler at the fam. Hey. Do we attend the funeral at least? Like, was his body mangled? They said they only identified him because of the flyers in the car. So it made me think it wasn't a fire, a fire because the flyers would have been. His body was probably mangled, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I don't recognize him. You holding up, son? You know what? I'm okay, pops. 
But you know what? We love you too so much. And it's only now that I'm realizing how much you two sacrificed for Cece and myself. Yeah. Because yeah, you know Vic didn't really get to know his father growing up. And we were lucky to grow up in a household with two loving parents. Wow. And you know what's sad to say? That people thought we had a highly unusual home in a project. Yeah, folks always talk about the negative effects of boys with no father in a home, but it affects girls too. And it's helped me in my relationships with men in my life. What Woo! Man? What men? Anywho, I know that all men. What are men? What you talking about? Because I had a great father in the home. You, Daddy. I was there too. He didn't do it alone now. Right. <laughs> yes, Mama, of course. <laughs> that goes without course saying. Said. Thank you, daughter. I did what my father did, and his father, and his father before that. How you know? A man, a Yo, real you man, just talking. will always be involved in his children's lives. That's a fact. I love your mother. We had our ups and downs. But I love her more than life itself. You two are a direct result of that true love. Yeah, we know that. Boy, he was in the room. Switching subjects. <laughs> yeah. I know the both of you like I know the back of my hand. You said you were leaving after the service. Why are you here out of the blue? Yeah, what's up? Why I gotta be all that? Yeah, we can't stop by and show our love. Yo, they need to get that big back TV up out of I'm here, really man. That thing's square. That thing ain't even HD. Uh, what's happening? Yeah, come clean. <sighs> OK, OK. Me and Cece just want to give you a little present. Yeah, a small token, a small repayment for everything you've done for yeah, us. Yeah, all the sacrifices you've made. And we want nothing in return but your love. Hey, that's parents right you. there, man. But get married first. <laughs> yeah, save your money. But, Daddy, we really just But, Daddy, nothing. You heard your father. Well, maybe, maybe one, one day. day. <laughs> maybe. But one day is not today. Nope. <laughs> OK. Well, for real, for real. We do have an actual flight to catch tonight. For real, this time. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. for real, this time. <laughs> well, so, good to see you again. Uh, yes, 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 sir. Had to stop by. Yo, how did he become so tall with his parents okay, so mama, little, bro? Yeah, y'all. Now, how little are his parents? Because he's six three and right, he's like a giant. Yeah, your brother. Of course. Next to them. I got this. No trust. <laughs> and if they twins, how did he? Like, what if I would have made my player seven foot? Uh, no, can you do me a favor and head to the sofa? I got a seven sofa? foot twin. What's up the sofa? And then, uh, just look behind the cushion. A little tiny in the uh, cushion. A uh, Pete, come here. What they want now? What's in the envelope? Just look inside, Mama. Pete, you open it. Hey, frequency. What's this? Does it look like it opens doors? Keys to a house. Uh huh. A new home. Uh huh. Son, I didn't told you and your sister a million times. Me and your mother mm -hmm. are very comfortable yes, right where we are. Bro, well, let them move you out the ghetto, USA. man. Project or no project, this is our apartment. This is the home we made for you to raise you up right in. We're not moving like everybody mm -hmm. else. Let me talk Tell them. Yo, just we move, bro. Both appreciate Be quiet, it old much. man. We're very grateful. Okay, okay can, look, there's something else in the envelope. Pete, he says look inside the envelope. What? Well, look inside. Yeah. Oh, hey. Hey. What's that? Montego Bay, Jamaica. Baby, Baby, pack, pack your, your bags. bags. We are living the dream. <laughs> Yo, hey, Pops on the you. way. All right, love you guys. Pop, hey, love Pops you. ain't come to play, man. He about to go crazy. Freak. <laughs> By the time you read this letter, oh, I'll be long gone. Oh, the all-white fit. Letter. Oh. It's the only way I think my voice will ever be heard. Oh. This piece of yellow paper. It's the only way I'll ever get any of you to stop, listen, and really tears, get to know man, me. Tears. Victor Van Leer. My childhood was turbulent. But even in the most unsettling times, there was a break in the tide. My father was the rocky water, and my mom's was the gentle surf. Pops did a lot of foolish stuff, but when he wasn't trashed and actually taking the time to be a father, he'd say, Vic, you got one life, a fragile life. God can take this life whenever he sees fit. So live and live plentiful. Each day God gives, live it in abundance. Man, great advice. My pops was a smart dude, the most dangerous kind, educated and street smart. And this apple didn't fall too far from the tree. Well, he wasn't that educated, bro. My you ain't mom. go to school, bro. Let's Yo. slow down a bit. You fell. She was an angel. Pretty far from the no truth. No matter how heavy the hand, she would do anything for me. 
and by chance when I was casted into that darkness, she was the voice I followed back to the light. I was so young, too young. But my decaying flesh carries the scars and memories that won't fade. Decaying flesh? The reason wow. I was loving as I was. She taught me to look at others as human beings and not objects. Now, where there's pain, a simple kiss, hug, or I love you could disperse that rainy day. That's why I'll, that's why I'll never understand why. Why? Why she of all people was taken from me. Nah. The only one good thing I ever had in my life. And that was my mother. <laughs> You ever feel lonely? <sighs> well, I didn't have any siblings. And no one would claim me as their own. It is the first time in my life I even... I question the point of living at all. If it wasn't for your family taking me in, I swear I was going to open my wrist or jump in front of the A train. Bro, what? I found love. On a 2K game, my new this family. is crazy. Was this game ready to eat for everyone? Like Mr. P, man, he was the complete opposite of who my dad was. You see, your dad was really smart. He was, born so to he was, he really was a dumb. good, honorable man, and to be honest, he intimidated me. I didn't believe I could ever be the man he tried teaching me to be. It's tough. Miss Martha, damn. <laughs> Real talk. I was in love with that woman. Hey. Freak, if you're reading this right now, I'm sorry. Down, brother. I never met one hottie that came close to her. Mr. Peter's a lucky dude. But unlike my dad, he could recognize the angel in his presence. Damn. Aside from my own mom, she's the only other person I truly think understood me. Bro going in, I bro. just wanted to be loved, yo. I just wanted to belong. CC, man, I've seen her make the hardest dudes break at the wrist. I've seen her turn coal into diamonds and then back into coal again. Just Oof. by doing this intense stare she do. CC is no joke. I love her, though. We used to be close. And again, I'm sorry, freak, but when your sister get all mad and on one, damn, I just... Hey, Oof. yo, relax. Relax! CC, I love you more than you will ever know. I hope in my time past you can finally forgive me. Yvette is beautiful. Hey, brother. A woman about success, work ethic, and never settling for less. Which, that's why I didn't stand a chance. Freak was king, and me, a big fat zero. He said, don't be a hero, drop that zero. She was cool, though. Chill. And when she wasn't being all uptight, that girl was mad funny. I could see why you fell in love with her. She could make any man better. Man. She was exactly what I wanted. And definitely what you needed. Dang. Frequency vibrations. My boy. My blood. I'm sorry I couldn't be as great as you. Oh. I'm sorry I was your weight and not your pedestal. I wanted to be a lot of things. I thought I was the next prodigy. Then you hit that court, and I knew. It was it. It was you, freak. It was you. I didn't have much of a life. At least not one I could be proud of. That piano coming I back. this to you. But I wanted to be you. All I wanted was a taste. Just a little taste of everything I never had. Can you blame me? Like my dad said, life is short. And I just wanted to live it abundantly. Oh, my God. I know it hurts. But your life would be better without me. There's nothing holding you down anymore, freak. 
Dang. I believe in you. And I always look out for you from above, B. Hey, bring that Jesus piece back for your boy, though, you know. That shuttle's work. I love you, freak. I ain't gonna lie. Looks like there's something right here. This, this is emotional right here, man. I felt as though I had no place here anymore. I never felt as though I belonged. Maybe, maybe my greatness is in the heaven. Or maybe. Dang, bro. Just maybe. My greatness is you, freak. Oh. Dang. I just hope you and the fam remember me as I remember my mom. Look at people like human beings, not objects. Because if you wait, it's often too late. Yeah. So just say you love them now, man. Be the voice they can follow out of darkness. Man, this is this is tough, bro. Be to them what my mother was to me. An angel. An angel. Ooh. Ooh. Your boy. Resting in power. Vic. Yo, yo, he delivered that, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. He delivered that, bro. He delivered that, bro. He delivered that, bro. He's gonna freeze in place. Boom. Hold on, wait, wait. Blah! The bench going and everything, bro. Everything that was there, gone. Man, oh man, that was crazy. We finished the story. Connections, live practice, man. 2K16 was something. Uh, I was thinking about doing a full playthrough of this game, but I decided, hey, let's just check out, you know what I'm saying, what my career was about here, that story, that crazy story. Literally, anybody would tell you the best uh, my career story ever, bro. That, that one was... That, that one was tough, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. We got some upgrades in right here. You know what I'm saying? We're ahead and upgraded the boy right quick. My boy got got lost. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, let me back up. Let me shoot around a little bit, but man, that was crazy. Let me know your thoughts, man. I know everybody have their own theories on what they think happened to Vic. It was crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying? The ride was crazy. I'm happy you guys got to enjoy it with me. If I make this shot, y'all owe me a dollar. Pay up. Anyway, if this was your first time watching the Stacks Montana video, man, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Let me know what other games I should go back and revisit. You know what I'm saying? Just let me know, and I might slide through. Go see what it do, what it do. Anyway, <laughs> like I was saying, bro, uh, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Also, drop a like if you haven't already. And until next time, man, real fans, stay up in your mouth. Montana fam, what's good, though? Yeah. Hey, no, I've been gone for a minute, but trust me, I'm back in the young nigga locked in. I feel like I'm on my way. See, this is the draft, and young in the top pick. Devil be hitting my phone, they answer the call. Got too many options. Play with my family, my kid. You might fuck around and go get your top in. No, I've been gone for a minute, but trust me, I'm back in the young nigga locked in. I gotta get to the back so I can.